There are filters in filters. And the one I'm gonna show you today is an XL Amon filters. What are you talking about? Yeah, okay, so let's do it. Watch me take control. So I have something here. I wanna play it for you really quick. And we're going to enhance uh, this uh, beat, this techno thing going on right here. Uh, we have a bass, of course. And we're going to start here because we want to make this bass move a little bit more. Let's make it groovy. Groovy. For that, I have the plugin we're going to see today, which is... Filter Shaper XL. This one belongs to Cable Guys, one of my favorite companies when it comes to plugins because they made the Shaper Box 3, which I use all the time. And they actually hooked me up with this one, the Filter Shaper XL, to check it out here on the channel and see how it goes. And oh boy, does he have awesome presets. And this is what I like about these plugins because they are creative plugins. You can spend hours and hours on the presets alone and it will sound amazing. So I wanna add motion, something like wobble. I kind of like this one, but we're going to boost the volume. Here in the middle, he has the routing section. In this one, he has a serial and parallel mode, which means that this filter one, which is this whole left section right here, and the filter two are going to be assigned one after the other. If you pick parallel, the signal coming through here, going through the two of them at the same time and going out. And the panning, this is the general panning. I'm not gonna touch that. The mix knob, of course, and the general volume. With volume, you can definitely do something like this and then you'll have If I wanted to do something like, for example, this, just imagine the control that you can have with this. You have two filters here and you have a bunch of different type of filters that you can choose. For example, warm notch. You have, for example, high pass, band pass, peak. Uh, let's do another notch here, warm notch 24. This has so many things that you can do with this filter that it's absolutely insane. So every time you click on anything here, pretty much the resonance, the volume, the panning, all of these parameters on each one of them is going to take you to a sub menu here where you can literally for each one of them, and you can see all the tabs here uh, from left to right, like cutoff, resonance, pan, and volume for each filter. And you can manipulate how that's gonna play, how that's gonna sound. And it's incredible. The amount of control that you have over this stuff, it's insane. Before. Way more movement.
And uh, the other thing that you can do, for example, is you can add it to your drums. So let's see what we can uh, come up with the drums right here. Let's pick a really nice preset right here. Rhythm. Um, I want something bubbling. Let's try that, okay? So let's take a listen to this. Uh, that one is nice. If I go 100%, of course, uh, let's see what we can do with this. Two instances, okay, of filter XL. I'm gonna cue this up and I'm gonna disable and enable this so you can listen to what only two, two plugins can do for you in this case. Before, Okay, so let's get real. Do I have to sell it more? <laughs> Honestly, after listening to this, two instances, only two instances of that plugin. Just get it. So for example, if you want to save the preset that you just created, you just go here to the left. You're gonna save that new preset. You're gonna give it a name. For example, I'm gonna do Bubbling Drums ERS. That's Elijah Record Studio. I'm gonna save it. And now it's added to my presets. There you go. And this is safe. Now, this is my preset for those drums. Just imagine the possibilities with this. You can have different instances of this plugin for different sections of the song to make it stand out way more. That's what I'm looking for in this kind of plugin. So it's pretty amazing and I highly recommend it. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us. And yeah, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.